In today's video, I'm gonna tell you five things you can do to maximize the Madden 24 beta. Now, we're pretty sure that the Madden 24 beta is going to be released um, on June 8th, and there are some things that you really wanna do to maximize the, the time that you have on it. And last year, I actually had beta for quite a while. Uh, chances are this year, we're ho I'm hoping that we have the beta for two to three weeks. Um, I'm hoping it's no less than two weeks and no more than three weeks um, for the beta this year. So the month of June is gonna be beta season. And I just wanted to give us five things that you can do uh, to maximize that experience. So the first thing is, I what I would recommend is practice playing a game with a quarterback with set feet lead or pass lead lead if that ability is still in the game. And then also practice um, playing with a quarterback without that. So you can kind of see the difference uh, that that makes. That's one big thing. Uh, number two is when you're on offense and you're trying to find schemes and starting to kind of like figure out what's effective, what's not effective. One of the best pieces of advice that I can give for that is to find man beaters. If we learn anything about Madden 23 uh, or from Madden 23, it is that you have to have a consistent ability to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Once you're able to beat man-to-man -man coverage, your entire playbook opens up because it funnels your opponent into having to run a, a zone defense where they're basically having to guess or strategically place their zones where your routes are, are or aren't, uh, for example. So I would first start on offense. If you're trying to really look at how can you really get good on offense, Number one, figure out if it's better to use a quarterback that has pass lead lead or set feed lead or not. Chances are you're going to want to be able to, to throw with both uh, a quarterback with set feed lead and a quarterback without. And the reason why is because typically for the first month of the game, we don't have gunslinger or set feed lead or pass lead lead. So just a quick tip on that. And then also really important to understand what are the routes of the game that are going to beat man coverage. For example, in Madden 23, the motion out slant was really good. The motion across slant was not as effective for beating man coverage. Tight end apprentice post was really good, but the standard post routes like uh, or the outside apprentice post routes weren't as good this year at beating man coverage. you got to figure out how can I consistently beat man coverage. One of the most important things that you can do in the beta is figure out what are the power routes in the game. Is it a post route year? Is it a corner route year? Is it a skinny post year? Is it a sharp cutting post year? Crowd of curls do against man coverage. You want to kind of test all of those route trees so that you know these are the best routes in the game. And then you can structure your route combinations to be able to beat man and zone because you have something you can count on uh, for man to man coverage. Third tip for the Madden 23 or Madden 24 beta, I think this is one of the most underrated tips, specifically on the defensive side of the ball. I would really focus on if I was if I was trying to prepare like for the defensive side of the ball, one of the things that I would I would really try to focus on is try to figure out what are the blitzing concepts that are going to work well in Madden 24. What I would not try to do is figure out how zones work or how man works because typically that might change. Specifically, if you remember last year's beta, last year's beta, the sheds were really good. Um, the sheds were really good. Zone coverage was really good. All of that was really good. Um, but it didn't stay good, right? Sheds were tuned down. Zone was nerfed to the freaking ground this year. And really, man coverage was meta for the majority of the season, except at the end of the game when there was really no defense, and then we just were trying to use zones so that we could try to like catch a, a D-line pick or something. So the point is, I would focus on trying to find pressure in the beta. I wouldn't worry as much with trying to find different types of coverage concepts um, or different types of adjustment series. I really think that if you could focus on finding what is the best formation to send pressure out of, what is the best blitz in the game? If you could find that in the beta, it really does go a long way. Like we knew from last year's beta that Dollar was probably the bet, one of the better blitzes in the game. 245 odd was really up there for sure, um, but 245 odd kind of got nerfed in the ground. So you want to have like, what I like to do is literally just go through every single formation. We actually do this for you on the Patreon. Every Patreon member gets a blitzing ebook uh, by becoming a member. And the blitzing ebook literally shows you formation by formation how to blitz out of every single formation in the game. I really think that's a very, um, a, a great place to start because defense every year, you have to start with 
finding the best blitz in the game. If you can find the best blitz in the game, you can you can kind of customize your run defense and your coverage defense and all of those things. You have to find a good blitz. A good blitz makes a great defense. It really does. So I would really focus on that um, in the betas, trying to figure out, okay, how does how does blitzing work? How does blitzing work? Because typically blitzing is not going to change too, too much. Like the loop blitz was found in the beta last summer and was really good. They had to patch it multiple times to get it to get it out of the game. I would really focus in on like pressure. Now I would the the fourth tip is I would say take a broad stroke a a broad uh, stroke approach to coverage scheme. So how's man playing? How's zone playing? Test out the different zones and all that stuff. Kind of see um, if it carries over from last year. For example, this last year's game, short side flooding concepts. So if you were in tight and you ran a corner out and a streak to the short side of the field, that was really effective. Is that the same? You want to all you want to test everything that you were currently doing in Madden 23, and you want to try to figure out is that all still work in Madden 24, and in a in a broad stroke approach, and then you want to kind of see okay conceptually how's zone playing, how's man playing. Um, and how's match playing? Those are all really important uh, questions uh, to ask. And then the last uh, piece of advice that I have for you in terms of maximizing your experience in the beta, I personally really recommend, unless you're just a CFM fanatic, like let's say like in last year's beta, I'm pretty sure they had CFM, MUT, they had practice mode, and they had regs. I would spend the majority of your time either playing regs or playing practice mode, I wouldn't waste as much time trying to play ultimate team because I'm pretty sure that none of it carries over anyways. And it just kind of gives you like a preview of the ultimate team. You may be dabbling that, but really the majority of your time spent in the beta should be spent trying to learn how the game plays under the hood because that is the core engine that is going to drive the game forward. So it's literally what happened last year a lot of the principles that were found in the beta, they kind of stayed true, especially for the majority of the competitive Madden season. So with that in mind, I would spend a significant amount of time in the beta trying to figure out how does the core engine of the game work? Yeah, there might be like, you know, maybe maybe man's a little bit better than zone is, but generally speaking, zone's going to work this way. Man's going to work this way. These routes beat man, these routes beat zone. And then as you start to kind of dissect all that stuff, it really can help you kind of start to put your scheme together while you're waiting for Band 24 to come out. So those are five things that I recommend um, for maximizing the Madden 24 beta experience. And if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, consider joining the Patreon today. It's only 10 bucks. Like I said, it gets you a complete ebook on blitzing. We're going to be posting, um, once we get the beta, we're actually going to be posting um, a beta ebook for our Patreon members. Uh, we're going to we're gonna do some stuff like that for you to kind of help you just prepare uh, for Madden 24. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, it's 10 bucks. The link's in the description. Be sure to go down and get signed up, and uh, you'll be able to get access to not only all the ebooks we did in Madden 23, but some of the first uh, fruits, first ebooks that we're going to be dropping for Madden 24 season. Thanks for watching. You can sign up in the description below.